guys so here is a super fun lesson of how to teach your toddlers or your preschoolers about 3d shapes these are also called as geometric solids in a typical montessori environment they are all blue in um, color but as you see i don't have them i got it online for a really good uh, discount if you want i'll link up the web shop uh, from which i got these but the main thing when you uh, kind of purchase um, the shapes is they need to be the right size okay it shouldn't be too big or too small it should be just perfect so that it snugly fits into the hands of uh, your little toddler or preschooler okay uh, this lesson also comes with loads of free printables which you can download uh, for free on my blog so i'm going to put the link in the description box below now the first thing is when do you introduce this lesson to your toddler i would say once your toddler is able to recognize the two dimensional shapes, you know, geometric shapes like your squares, circles, ovals really well, that's when you can introduce one or two geometric solids at a time to your child. Okay, so the first lesson I would say is um, pick up any basic shapes. Okay, I would suggest a sphere and a cube. Okay, and do a touch and feel lesson. Let uh, your child, you know, just uh, take the shape in his hand. Let them just feel it. Let them see what the shape is. And then you talk about the attributes. So you say this is a spear. And as you can see, it is so smooth all over. Yes, it does look like a circle. You can draw a little circle and show and say, this is the 3D counterpart of the circle. Similarly, this is a cube. It's a 3D counterpart to a square. Okay, and then you can say, look at this, how the sphere rolls. Okay, try to roll it. Okay, then ask your child to roll it. And if you try to roll the cube, oops, it does not roll. Okay, and then you can talk about how the cube has you know these sides which are squares okay and they have these pointy edges then you can do a quick three period lesson okay so I'm gonna just uh, show you guys okay so this is a spear first period second period okay and of course you talk about this also okay this is a cube second period can you give me the spear in my hand? We can make it even more fun. Can you keep the spear on your head? Okay. Can you go ahead and put this cube on the table? Okay, you can make it super fun. You can include elements of movement in this period. Okay. Um, third lesson is when you um, ask them what it is. Okay, so what is this? It's a spear. Where is this? It's a cube. Okay. Then once your child is kind of confident about naming and recognizing these two 3D shapes, you introduce one more. I would suggest a cone or a cylinder. Again, you can do like a three period lesson with three or even four different shapes. Okay. And talk about each of the attributes okay I'm gonna quickly uh, tell you the names of each of the solids in case um, you know you just want it for reference so this is a cone is a spear a cube cylinder then you have these two which look very similar okay this one if you see has both the ends same okay so this is an ellipsoid Whereas this is called an ovoid, it has got like a little tapering end here. Okay, so this is an ovoid as it resembles the shape of an egg. Okay, so this is an ovoid, this is an ellipsoid. Similarly, these two, though they look rectangular, are different. Okay, so these are prisms. This is a rectangular prism, this is a triangular prism or triangular base prism okay and these two your child would be able to recognize if they have seen uh, the pyramids of Egypt okay so these are pyramids 
but they have different bases okay so if you see this has a triangular base this has a square base so this is square base pyramid this is a triangle base pyramid okay so that's one quick lesson that you can do also I have their uh, three-part cards okay so once your child is able to uh, recognize these shapes you can ask them to match them to these cards okay so spear spear okay you can ask them to keep it here ask them to keep it here ask them to keep it here okay and then if your child is able to even read they can name it okay so spear and then you can ask them to match the 3d shape to that of a picture spear okay similarly I have all the printables here which you can go ahead and download on my blog for free okay so they can do a quick matching game labeling for little older children too all right so that's um, another way of doing an activity third way is you can ask them to um, actually match real life objects okay so give them objects from around the house what do you have okay so I would probably do a cylinder and a spear okay just for an example so they have to match all the objects that are um, spherical in shape okay here and all the objects which are cylindrical in shape here okay so say they pick this up so what is this and you know you can talk a lot in this activity there is so much that you can do okay so this is a ball so it is like a spear so this would go here okay let's pick other one. Oh, this is a can what does it look like it looks like the cylinder so let's keep it here okay then this one is a glass. Do you think it looks like a spear? The child will be like, no, it looks like a cylinder. You say, that's right, so keep it here. What's this? It's an orange, okay, the fruit orange. You can even um, use the real orange, okay. This one is from Melissa and Doug. Okay, it's a wooden fruit, okay. So you keep it here. What about this? It's a battery. What do you think it looks like? Does it look like this or this? Yes, it looks like this. So that's a cylinder. What about this? It's an earth. Sorry, this is my DIY um, earth that I'm making for our another lesson where I'm going to teach him land and water. So that's why you see it like this. But anyway, you can have like a proper, you know, globe or a miniature of an earth and ask them to match the earth looks like a spear so it goes here okay so there are so many ways you can make this into a fun lesson and this is one lesson I think children of all ages will be able to enjoy okay so these are just two examples similarly you can ask them to match uh, all things that are you know shaped like a cone okay and while you are at this lesson you can, uh, I have these free printables, okay, for you guys. So, uh, what you can do is you can even create this as a fun scrapbook, or you can lay them out on a table or a mat and ask them to uh, sort, okay. So, here uh, we're going to sort um, spear from cylinder, okay. You can do any, okay. I have a whole bunch of cards here, okay. So, you have cube, you have everything, okay, all the 10 shapes. Okay, so you can download these printables for free on my blog. Okay, and then what you do is you jumble up the cards. Okay, and then you ask your child to pick up. Okay, can you pick up one? Okay, so that's planet Earth. And then you keep uh, the spear here for reference and cylinder here for reference. Okay, so they know. What about this? It's a glass. Where will it go? Okay, if I go here, what about this? It's a drum. Where we go? If we go here, okay, and they can um, make, you know, for older children, 
you can make like a really nice scrapbook where they uh, you can even print things so when they see things around real life objects and they tell you oh that looks like a sphere you can quickly go on google print that image and put that into scrapbook so there are various ways you can add fun elements to this lesson so that's one so you can download these printables for free on my blog okay and the last one to make the sensorial uh, lesson even uh, more sensorial is I have this uh, tray with uh, white flower and you can pick up any um, two objects okay say a spear and a cube and you ask your child to roll it in this tray and see what happens so let's see whoops off it goes see it makes such a nice path see this and then you can have a car, you can, you know, you can add elements. Let's, let's see, it's, you know, the spear has made a road. Let's drive a car, okay? Now let's see what happens when you try to roll a cube. Whoops, it does not roll. So, you know, there are various fun ways you can um, ask your child to play with, okay? So look at this, a cube makes these kind of square impressions okay so these are fun things you can do okay let's see what a ellipsoid does wow look at this it also rolls okay and then if you want you can even um, use this like a little pre-writing game okay so yeah those are fun ways you can introduce 3d shapes to your child at home let me know how you guys like this lesson thank you so much for watching bye